there is a CubeSat community uh, of 20 some odd universities that have built a CubeSat. Uh, we were in kind of on the ground floor with the first uh, with the first educational uh, NASA mission uh, back in 2006, and which launched in 2011. Uh, but we're part of a pretty small community of universities that build CubeSats. The, the, the thing about the, the program, the way we have it set up, is it really is student-led, student-organized, it's all student labor. Um, there's a few graduate students that kind of provide some guidance and some insight, and myself, of course, kind of managing the program. But um, the day-to-day -day work, the scheduling, the effort to put it all together is, is a lot of undergraduate students. Um, we even have some high school interns that come in and work on various parts. Not often that you know we get to work on something that actually goes into space. Um, so it's definitely a unique experience uh, to be able to do something like that. I mean, it's not only great hands-on experience, uh, but I guess the subject material is also really cool. Um, a lot of times in class or in labs, you don't get the chance to really uh, build full, complete systems that aren't a bit contrived uh, for the lab or the purposes of the assignment. Um, we actually had to build the system, uh, define the problem, solve problems, uh, and end up with a final product that uh, is going to work. Uh, we can't just kind of throw things together or hope for the best. You, you kind of get to do stuff that, you know, you really only dreamed of doing, you know, uh, in terms of, you know, doing aerospace stuff, so. One of our PhD students here created a, like, a star tracker and basically it's just going to take images of the stars and relate that back to us so we can see like how the satellite's moving in space. And also we basically just want to see how our design will work in the harsh conditions in space, the vacuum and the extreme temperatures and stuff because this is still fairly new to us. This is only our second satellite so we're learning as we go but we think we should be good. Um, it's great for educational outreach. Um, so. Like a lot of the like a lot of the data that we're going to get, we're going to be able to show to like you know elementary kids, middle middle school kids to promote math and science. We can actually show them, hey, you know, we actually built this in space. We actually got this data down in space. Um, and if you study really hard, you know, you can actually do this too. It's it's just incredible to see the students. And some of these students started the program as freshmen, really. They had just come out of high school, they were kind of walking around, they had maybe done a tour of the lab and they said, I'm interested in doing spacecraft, I'm interested in aerospace. As long as they have that interest and that ability and that excitement, then they can go ahead and plug into the program. We've done some great things with a lot of undergraduate students. I got to jump right into K2 and I'm mechanical so I helped with a lot of the testing. We did the thermal vac chamber testing and the shake table and all that stuff but actually physically putting it together was really cool to see it come together. Uh, just kind of in our spare time on the weekends at night, uh, we would stay late and call them code codepocalypses where we just stay and all code together uh, till late at night, get pizza, so uh, it's kind of a fun experience. November 4th, it'll launch. Um, It'll start to orbit, go through its timers, it'll deploy its panels and radios, and then next door here in the ground communications facility, we'll try to make that first contact. So the stress level is high to get delivered, then it's down, and then it's gonna go way up to catch those first packets. So we've, we've really put a lot of engineering practices into it, um, but we've learned kind of how to build a spacecraft correctly, and uh, which seems to be working uh, right now on the bench, and uh, we're, we're very confident it's gonna work in space. It helped me kind of confirm what I wanted to do and my love for everything space and it's been really good. I'm very excited to see this satellite fly, to see their work up in space. <laughs>